Welcome to 18th century cooking. Today, this one's a little different. I haven't done one quite like this before. Today, we'll be doing candied lime peel. Thanks for joining us today. So next week, we're doing an episode which calls for a very special garnish, a green sweet meat. And uh, this time of year, it's very difficult to get candied peel because it's not Christmas time. And so today we're going to be making a green sweet meat. We're going to be candying lime peel. I went back into the cookbooks uh, looking at candied peel or citrus peel recipes. There were many of them. Uh, they range from very, very complicated, like uh, Hannah Glass's recipe for uh, candied lime peel. It takes seven days of soaking, et cetera, et cetera. Some of the, the recipes are actually very simple. We'll be kind of meeting halfway in between with this recipe. Let's get started. Uh, before we start cutting up limes, let's talk about the lime just a little bit. These, uh, you want to pick the right lime. And I first started off with these sort of like extra large key limes to experiment with. Turns out that they have very little rind. Uh, they're just, if, if you peel, take the peel off of these, there's, the, there's no like pith there, which is actually what turns out to be what we're candying. Find a nice, thick, peeled lime. Something that looks a lot more like a lemon than a, one of those little tiny limes, right? So I've got a good big lime here. Cut it in half, uh, cut it in quarters, and then we can start to, uh, to get the peel off of it. you want to keep this white pith on there. So we can kind of shave this excess off a little bit if we need to. I'm gonna take the peels, I slice them into kind of thin slivers, and then we're gonna pop them into this pipkin here, pour some water over them and get them steeping. The directions call for switching the water out three times. So once these come up to boil for 15 minutes or 20 minutes or so, Pour the water off, start it boiling again. So we're trying to achieve two things while we simmer these in the water. We're trying to take away the bitterness and we're trying to make them very tender. So you can test these out with your fingernail when they uh, don't have that leather hard peel flavor anymore, peel uh, texture, and they've softened up, they're ready to go. So these guys are ready to come off the fire and we will just Get those out of the pan. And now that these are nice and tender, ready to go, we can start the candying process. This one's really simple. It's a 50-50 mix between water, and I've got about eight ounces of water here, and sugar. So I've let me get about eight ounces of sugar. That should be about right. Doesn't, doesn't have to be totally perfect. Let's get this on this fire and uh, dissolve the sugar. Then we'll put in the peel. We're gonna simmer these up in our sugar bath until they become transparent. And then they are basically done. We can take them off, put them on a little uh, bed of sugar and sprinkle sugar over the top. Then they need to dry. So there is our garnish. They look great. They'll make a beautiful garnish, a, a look on the plate. The question is, what do they taste like? We want these to taste good too. So let's find out exactly how our lime peel turned out. Wow, they still have, you know, after, you would think, after boiling in water for, you know, a long time to get rid of all that bitterness, and then boiling in the sugar, that there wouldn't be no lime flavor that came through, but these have a wonderful little lime flavor. I mean, I guess if you kind of connect this in a modern context, sort of like a little gummy bear, um, kind of, but a lime flavored. Really, really good. So next week, these are gonna go into the, our, our main dish that we're gonna be preparing, and I can't wait. That sounds like a great episode. I'm not gonna tell you about what it is yet, though. Um, I wanna thank you guys. You know, these these things are always an experiment. We ne I have never made candied uh, peel before, so this was a great little experiment. Pretty easy to do. Just follow the directions right out of those 18th century cookbooks. A lot of fun. I want to thank you for coming along on this little experiment with me as we savor the flavors and the aromas of the 18th century.